Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to VR Essentials emergency video. Everybody as the Quest 2 version 55 software update has been released. Let's check this out and see what it all means together. Right, let's go here to the website where all the news is very exciting. Of course, we know that the Quest 3 is coming out extremely soon and this specific Quest 2 Version 55 update brings the promised CPU and GPU clock speed increases for Quest 2 and Quest Pro, everybody, as well. The Quest OS dynamically adjusts the CPU and GPU clock frequencies to give apps performance they need without wasting battery when they don't need it. So basically, this means there'll be better battery performance in your Quest 2 which basically means it should last longer. So if you're a Quest 2 user, after this update, clock it, put the clock on, let me know in the comments whether you're able to use your Quest 2 for longer compared to version 54. All right, so continuing on the update in December, Meta Quest 2's maximum GPU clock speed by 7%. Ooh, they had increased by 7%, okay. A software update in version 55, the company is increasing it by a further 19%. Wow, 19%. Crazy guys, 19% more. I mean, that's just... Let's continue. Also increase the maximum GPU clock speed by 26%. That's just frigging crazy. That gives you a sense of what's gonna happen when the Quest 3 comes out and how much better it's gonna be than the Quest 2, right? Are you excited about the Quest 3, by the way, guys? Um, here, so the Quest 2 maximum GPU frequency is now by around 100, sorry, 625 megahertz. For comparison, Pico 4 uses the same chipset and its maximum was 78587 megahertz as of November. So yeah, definitely seems that it's more powerful. However, we can't compare the Quest 2 and the Pico 4. Come on, guys, let's be honest. The Pico 4 is hands down what the Quest 3 wants to be right so hmm, is the quest you're going to be better than the pico 4 leave a comment below let me know what you think hit the notification bell after you subscribe to get all these juicy videos as the news comes out and more all right let's go back so if we look at the other news quest pro is also getting maximum clock speed increases 11 percent for the gpu and 26 percent for the cpu as well if you have a quest pro is any good i don't know i haven't tried it any good? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you like about the Quest Pro and what you wish the Quest Pro will have on the Quest 3. Leave a comment below and hit those likes to help the algorithm to promote this video and to let me know if you want me to do more of these kind of emergency videos. Right, let's go back. Dynamic resolution scaling Quest 2 and Quest Pro now support dynamic resolution scaling, excuse me, or DRS to encourage developers to take advantage of increased resolution, the clock speed increase make possible without dropping frames. All right, DRS is used in many recent console and PC games. Of course, it was introduced by, if I'm not wrong, NVIDIA with certain graphics card. I think you need RTX 2070 and above. It increases render resolution when there's spare GPU performance available and decreases it when the GPU is under too much load. So you always get the highest practical resolution without sacrificing performance. DRS is developer side feature available in the latest SDK version. So does this mean that developers need to implement the SDK? Because of course, if they don't implement it inside of their game, then DRS will not be enabled, technically speaking. If you're a developer, let me know in the comments below. Love to know the technical aspect of this as to the DRS implementation, whether it be easy to implement or whether it means you need to adjust a whole bunch of different things in the game. Love to know more about this. And by the way, Vision Pro and Reality OS just released by Apple, which means all the developers are now at work going to be working on Apple development with all the various different games. So mm, is this going to create a dent in Meta's uh, potential development and you know whether it means that developers will be focusing purely on Apple first putting Apple as a priority before Meta 
hit the notification bell so we can do another video about this. All right, let's continue. Passcode security option. All right. Quest currently allows you to set up a device unlock pattern, an ordered sequence of lines you draw between eight dots. So basically just like Apple or whatever, Samsung phones that you use to open your phone. All right, so version 55 adds an alternative security option, a numerical passcode between four to 12 characters, everybody. So is this something that's important to you, this kind of feature? You know, what do you think? Leave a comment below. Love to have your thoughts about this. Now let's go back. Both unlock methods are also used to lock apps to prevent children using them. Now, obviously we know that Quest, Meta, have actually lowered the age rate from 13 years old to 10 years old, everybody. 10 years old to go into VR. What are your thoughts? Are uh, If you are a parent, has your kid like sneakily in the background taken your Quest from you without you knowing and playing it? Leave a comment below. Love to you, you know, love to know because I thought parents generally would give the headset to the child to play and not, you know, the other way around. So not quite sure how this prevents children, the majority of children, from using the Quest, to be honest with you. But, you know, let me know. I'd love to get your thought as a parent in the comments below. Let's continue with the actual news. So there is now multi-touch support for Quest browser. This looks very, very interesting, guys. Version 55 also adds multi-touch gesture support for your hands and controllers to the Quest browser, enabling interactions like pinch and zoom. So this is how it works. You can see here, basically we have the browser here with the Google Maps maybe or something. And then you can see using the hands, how to zoom in using your hand gestures. Now, we do know that with the new Apple, um, you know, the, the Apple Vision Pro guys, during the actual conference, Apple are trying to ditch controllers completely, right? Although they might bring controllers as an accessory, we don't know yet, but the point is, spatial computing is all about using hand gestures. So does this mean that Quest is also trying to develop their, you know, spatial computing using more hand gestures and potentially less and less and less controllers in the future? What do you think about the future of VR mixed reality using more of the hands, less the controllers? Leave a comment below. Would love to get your thoughts and hit the likes, guys, so more people can get to see this video and also the notification bell so you don't miss future news as it breaks in the industry and more. All right, let's go back to the news of the day. Based on the illustration Meta provides, provided this appears to be the current experimental direct touch interaction mode, though it may also support the default pointing and pinching mode. So very exciting. Revamp Explore tab, guys. The Explore tab is the default 2D interface you see when you start your quest, showing your suggested apps, videos, and destinations, as well as online followers. So here you go. This is what it looks like here. Very, very interesting. So let me know whether you feel that this feature will be something that's, you know, used to you. I'm not quite sure. I haven't used the Quest 2 yet. So I can't comment on this personally speaking. I don't really know whether it will be very useful or not. But let's continue with version 55. Meta says the Explore Town now shows the Meta avatars, outfit store, Horizon Worlds, Feature Worlds, media content from Peacock, YouTube, Pluto, Pluto TV and X Stadium and Facebook and Instagram Reels if either accounts is linked to your Meta account. We're not quite sure why anyone wants to watch Reels on the Quest, nor why that should be in the default home screen though. Well guys, we know why, of course, they want Instagram and Facebook as soon as you launch the Quest, because at the end of the day, Meta is not Quest. Quest VR is only one of the products and it is not yet the main revenue generating cow cash or cash cow. For them, we know that Instagram is their first revenue cash cow. Second one is Facebook, but Facebook is dying, guys. As we know, they even inflated numbers and were taken to court in Chicago because they had told investors that there were so many extra millions of people that had joined when in fact it was not true. So, you know, and they're also trying to compete, of course, with who? TikTok, of course, who, you know, in the Pico 4, you can, of course, use TikTok. I don't know if you can upload videos to TikTok yet, 
but you can go into TikTok, you can watch all the different videos there. And Meta, first and foremost, are a social media competing with ByteDance, who of course own the Pico brand. So they're both head to head and both trying to dominate the space. So that is why, of course, they're trying to do that. And the other reason why they're trying to promote Horizon, of course, is because Horizon, again, unfortunately, is dying. It's not a platform that really people want to use. Although there have been some very interesting case studies, I have to say, including Wendy's with the Wendyverse, which looks absolutely fantastic. And of course, Horizon is competing against especially, especially Roblox, who have so many corporate clients and so many people using Roblox in the millions of people using Roblox. And of course, no doubt Rec Room, who are now one of the standing people who will be in Apple Realities headset vision pro so you know horizon have a lot to compete with in that respect when that headset comes out too so this is why they need to put instagram and facebook there guys and also to remind you that they are more into social media vr is just part of the you know business uh, mixed reality let's say social media strategy metaverse is not something separate it's all interconnected so that's how they have to make money all right let's go back to the actual news of the day so full feature messenger app oh my god they're going to be integrating messenger really how do you guys feel about this news of them actually putting the messenger app let's see what it all means of course so finally version 55 replaces the all quest specific messenger app with a native Android app. Ooh, okay, that's very interesting. The previous app lacked many of the features of Messenger on other platforms, but the new one appears to be the same Messenger you'd find on Android phones, Android tablets, and Chromebooks. So I guess this will streamline the look, the feel, the features, and all these different things here. So guys, do you personally use Messenger a lot in your country? We personally in Asia don't really use Messenger that much, to be honest with you. We do use WhatsApp, though. WhatsApp is probably the number one platform that we use after Signal. And, you know, maybe another platform like Line in certain countries like Japan, Taiwan. And of course, in China, they use WeChat. So what do you guys think about this? Do you use Messenger or not really? And also, I believe Messenger, wasn't it taken down on Android or Apple or something? I thought they took it down from one one of the phone manufacturers. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Smash those likes to promote the video and hit the notification bell to get breaking news as it comes out and more on the channel. All right, let's go back and see what it looks like. So here you go, guys. This is what it looks like here. Let me try and get a zoom. There we go. Let me click on this. There we go. We've got the zoom here. So this is basically what it looks like. Do you guys use it in your quest or not? Are you excited by this? Let me know in the comments. So uh, Quest OS is Android based and it's capable of running side loaded 2D Android apps floating in front of you in the home interface, which will be very similar to Apple Vision Pro with all the various different apps inside of the Apple Store, I guess, when it launches. In early 2021, Facebook tested distributed 2D Android apps through a new section of the Quest Store that employees, the employees, excuse me, had access to. But by the end of the year, Meta settled on progressive web apps, PWAs, as its approach to 2D apps instead. Could the Messenger app indicate a reversal of this approach, or is it just a one-off exception? Mm. Well, guys, we're just going to have to find out and, excuse me, find out and see what happens. Are you excited? Which feature are you looking for the most? Which feature do you wish had? was on the Quest to begin with that they did not put in version 55. Is your Quest 2 still working for PC VR with the link cable or are you having any issues? Love to get your thoughts on all this. Are you a Pico 4 and a Quest 2 user and which one do you use the most? Leave a comment below. Love to have this talk with you guys. Until then guys, I gotta go to work now. Have an awesome day, evening or afternoon. I will see you in a live stream very, very soon guys. Take care and bye for now. Oh.